Namaste and welcome to the Indian Spa. Today we will be doing your eyebrows mm -hmm. and you'll be having them threaded. I believe you've not tried this before. Right, okay. What we'll be doing is using a thread which I have looped just like this. And then it's going to have like a scissor effect, but it will be extracting the hair out. Now the good thing is that this technique allows us to get quite a few pieces of hair, yeah, uh, rather than just one at a time with a plucker. Mm -hmm. So. It can feel a little uncomfortable, but my technique seems to be quite comfortable for everybody. Okay? Alright. So, I'm also going to do a little bit of plucking if needed, and just to make sure the shape is right, we may fill it in a little bit. But, I think generally speaking, the eyebrows have a very natural look to them. I'm just going to have a little closer look to see what I'll be working with. Okay, so I'm just going to use these tweezers. A little light. Bear with me. so bad. There's a few I could see that might need the tweezers but other than that should be okay. Alright. So I'm going to just start off with just wiping the eyebrow area now. Now would you like to use uh, rose water or aloe vera gel? Aloe vera. with me. It's very nice. I've got quite a lot of hair there anyway, which is a good thing. So we have a lot more to play around with. I'm just going to go in with one eyebrow. I'll start with the one on this side. Now if you don't mind, just lifting it slightly from the top, a little bit from the bottom. Mm. Yep. Okay. Ready? that feel? That's good. I'm almost done. So that's just the base, the bottom part. I'm going to work at the top now. If you just release your hand from the bottom. Okay. to shape it is that 
commonly people tend to follow the nose, just like that, and a mark it from there and have the eyebrow there. But with threading, we tend to have more of it into the center. Yeah, not too much, but I mean, you can see like half a centimeter maybe more. Yeah, and it elongates the eyes. Mm -hmm. I mean, you probably see a lot of Asian or Eastern people that have eyebrows slightly longer if they have them threaded, that is. Okay. That one looks perfect. Okay, so um, I will trim it down a little bit at the end and pull out just a few of the small ones that are hard to get on. Alright, okay. let me start on the other side. So you just hold it at the top again, a little bit at the bottom. Okay, okay. And the top. So if you just release your finger. Okay. I'm gonna just work up the middle area now. a little bit down further up the tops. Yeah? Alright. Fantastic. So you just Push it down a little bit, yeah, just to see the shape, yeah. I'm just going to work around the top parts of the eyebrows just to really define the shape. Alright, so I'll just be using these little scissors, of course it's painless, and you just bear with me. I'm going to start on this side, alright? I'll work on the other side. Yeah, I'm right handed, so I have to make sure I do it properly. Are so good. You can see a little bit here. I'm just gonna go in a little bit longer. Yep. That's brilliant. Now, where did you get? 
get your eyebrows done before I the salon across the street. Oh the very kind people, yeah definitely. All it is I see that there's a slight patch area, very very slight, kind of on both sides, but I think you could regrow that. Yeah. So what I've done I've left that area alone so you could start regrowing it. But what I'll do in the meantime I'll fill it in just on the ends, yeah. So you can see where your natural shape would be once it's grown back. Okay. Alright. So I'm just going to extract the minor ones that are hard to get hold of with the thread, yeah? Alright. Is that right? Yeah, it's a very handy little thing with the light on it. Allows me to see it properly. Don't want to miss anything. Alright, I'm going to work on to the other side now. Okay. Alright. bits just in the middle so I'm just going to work into the center area now okay work it down into the nose slightly okay all right a little bit left They've come up really well. Look at the beautiful shape there. I mean, even with the slight hiccup at the end, it's not bad. It will grow out. Brilliant. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to just use an eyebrow pencil. It's just a very simple brand actually. Most important thing is get the colour right and of course the staying power. <laughs> That's helpful. So on one end of course we have the pencil itself. These are quite handy because they have a sharpener at the end and the other side's a nice brush. Spoolie? Is that what they call it? I should know, but it helps. So, let me just fill that in. Alright. Don't need too much. spread out the liner. So you always start with a little less and then follow it through. I've had instances where 
put way too much on and the brushing it through is just pow <laughs> not quite what I was looking for but be very delicate with yours make a little bit more at the end side. That's how you look into the mirror tonight. Just when you're lap. But if you were at least your eyebrows done, just comb it through. I think the good thing about getting your eyebrows threaded is it's done quite quickly, as you noticed, the threading itself. And once you get used to it, it will hold its shape, yeah. And then they just tidy up the area. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay. Is there anything else you require? Oh, the threading. Um, you can do facial hair, yes. I think I had that before either. Well, usually we need to book it in uh, for an extra appointment for combination eyebrows, lip, and chin. But. Do you want to give it a go? Just so you know what it feels like, yeah? It's going to have a very different sensation because the area around the top of your lip is quite sensitive. But again, you will get used to it, yeah? So, let me just have a look to see what I need to work with. I won't be plugging it, but I just want to use the light from it, alright? fine which is good mm. just check your chin well there's a few difficult areas but it's not too bad if you did consider doing your whole face you could do it around the sides as well Okay, again that's not very bad actually. That's really good actually because you've got very dark hair. It can be a bit of a problem sometimes but in this case it's not that bad. Okay, so with your top of the lip I just want you to put your tongue above the teeth so you're like pushing out the lip a little bit. And then move it along as I move along. Alright? Fantastic. Okay, let me know if it gets a little painful, right? But it shouldn't do. Ready? I've got a few stubborn areas, but I think we can work with it, right? So yeah, if you consider having that done, um, the ladies in reception will tell you the fee, alright? And you can have it booked in, eyebrows, lip, chin, okay? And I mean, for example, the eyebrows, um, it can be 
about two weeks, maybe longer, maybe three weeks, depends on your week of, of when to come in again. Okay, so I'd suggest that just keep an eye on it. Try not to pluck out any regrowth. That's my job. And also, I can get an idea of how long the regrowth is within that two week mark. Mm hmm. Alright. So, have a wonderful day now. Thank you for joining us.